Hi, I'm Annie. Um, today's reflection is on the cross and identity, and our passage is from Philippians 3, 10 to 14. So I'm going to read it out of the NIV. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow to attain to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. I think identity is such a big thing for all of us. We so often feel like we're spending our whole life trying to figure out who we are, what we're here for, what our identity is. Um, and I'm always so struck every time I read anything by Paul that he was so sure of who he was in Christ. He wasn't defined by what had happened before. His life before was immense, but that wasn't what defined him. What he wanted to be defined by was knowing Jesus and knowing the power of his resurrection. Um, I think often when I'm asked what my uh, ask myself what my identity is, I think about the things that I do. I'm a mother. Um, I work part time. I'm a wife. I did all sorts of things growing up, I studied certain subjects at university, I did stuff at school, and all of that is often my identity, I think is my identity. And day to day, if you asked me how I define myself, it would change. Um, but I, I just wonder if every day I chose instead to define myself, like Paul did, in Jesus, by what he's calling me to, and I chose to leave all of that stuff behind, I just wonder what my life would look like. What would life be like if we chose to be like Paul and to just stand firm on the truth that Jesus has called us and he um, is what identifies us? So um, perhaps that's something that you want to have a think about today. What is it that defines you? What's your identity? Um, and I'm going to pray for us as we, we think about that. Father God, thank you that you have called us, that you love us. Thank you that you are what defines us, what's gone before doesn't matter. And, and God, today we choose to, to look to you and stand firm on that truth. Amen.